We visited with Willie Anderson twice recently uh, before the Hall of Fame vote. Uh, he's a finalist, obviously. We'll find out that class tomorrow night. Yep. And, uh, and then after the Bengals made the Super Bowl, talk, talk about the excitement. Um, and he, he was talking about uh, having been on the Penn Sewell side of, of the draft pick. Yep. I'm, I'm guessing you might have been on that side. He said he's a complete convert, obviously, with how good Jamar Chase has been. I'm wondering where what your thinking was in terms of the protection Burrow needed after tearing an ACL, uh, and and with all the hits yeah. he's taken this year, but with the chase production that they've gotten. Great point there. So I was on the Panel train. I might now have switched to the Slayton train. Yeah. Watching that kid play for the Chargers. Wow. Amazing. But. Yeah, and uh, I mean, Jamar Chase, I mean, how can you not be <laughs> on the Jamar Chase train? The guy just is a game breaker, a game, I mean, it just what he's done this year is just amazing. But, uh, you know, uh, these guys have their work cut out for them. I think the Rams have a you know a couple pretty good defensive linemen. And, uh, but no, I mean, they're good enough. They're in the Super Bowl. So, you know, I, I, I've been telling people, you've been playing all year. Have confidence in what you're doing and do it. I mean, go out there and don't hesitate. And I'm sure the coaches will adjust, you know, protections and stuff to help guys out. But, uh, yeah, it was one of those things where I'm not totally, you know, gone from the the old line train because, you know, I think we still, after the season, after they – you know, after the parade in Cincinnati, then we address that. And, uh, and get, even, like, get even stronger. <laughs> yeah. I caught that, yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, every year after, as you guys know, you there's not a, you know, position that you don't try to improve after the season. But, hey, you got to go out and do it, you know. Um, all those guys, they, they just got to play the game of their lifetime. Willie Anderson, uh, Paul mentioned a Pro Football Hall of Fame finalist, and you're the representative of the Bengals. You know, we think yeah. of Anthony Munoz, greatest uh, offensive lineman, and he's in the, he's enshrined with you know Cincinnati. Now Willie can be amongst that group potentially. I mean, that's that's special. Well, the sad thing about it, I shouldn't be the only one in there. Willie, you got Kenny Anderson, you got Kenny Riley, Isaac Curtis, and that are legitimate to me because I've watched. I'm an old guy. I've watched a lot of football. Maybe I don't know football as well as I think I do. But Kenny Anderson retires, and he's number one, two in every category. Different game. One of the most accurate quarterbacks. Played 16 years. Uh, I've yet to get an answer why he's not in. Um, Kenny Riley, top eight interceptors of all time. I think he's number five. He's the only one in the top eight that's not in. Uh, in Kenny, uh, um, Kenny Anderson's highlight film, number 85, Isaac Curtis, and every touchdown pass just about. And then Willie Anderson. So uh, hopefully I'll get a chance uh, in the next several years to, to not only be the only one. Tony Baselli, uh, another offensive lineman in, in this class, who uh, has kind of waited out uh, Hutchinson, Mawai, right. Fanica. Um, I, I'm on the committee. Your name came up in discussions of Baselli. Um, what do you th- What do you think of him? Obviously, his his the the whole case. That against him, quote unquote, is the short career, but obviously a phenomenal player but during that short. Career. And then my argument would be: there's other players that had the short career that are in. I mean, yeah, Terrell know, Davis, Terrell is Davis, one. and I mean, you can't, I can't use Gale Sayers because Gale Sayers is Gale Sayers, but Terrell Davis, to me, watching Tony play, and I was in broadcasting, one of the best that I watched. Technically, um, nasty. Um, I mean, the way he used his hands. So, I mean, that's my humble opinion, and I'm a big. And people say, well, you guys are USC guys. I said, no, he could have gone to Notre Dame and I'd have felt the same way. (laughs) (laughs) But no, I'm serious. I think he is worthy of of being in. And I just, you know, when he was playing, his body of work, to me, he was one of the best to ever play.